Okay, so we have a table that represents the average temperature of San Francisco over the last 12 months. Create a box plot to display this data set. If we're going to create a box plot, then I know we need five values. We need the minimum, we need the first quartile, which is actually what this question is asking us for. We need the median. We need the third quartile. And then finally, we need the maximum value. These are the five values that I need to create a box plot. In order to find these five values, the first step we're going to do is to um, order all of these values from least to greatest. So my lowest value that I have is 52. So let's start putting these in order. Next lowest value is 55. And I have another 55. And then I have a 58. And then it looks like 60. And 61. 62, 65, oh, no, nope, not 65 yet, I see 64, so 64, and then 65, and then two 68s, and then finally 72. Did we get them all? Yep, okay. So I've lined them up from least to greatest in order, and now we can go ahead and find these five values, minimum, quartile one, median, quartile three, and maximum. So let's start with the minimum. Well, minimum is just the lowest number. So the minimum equals 52. Um, let's do the maximum, because that's easy as well. The maximum is the greatest number, which here is 72. And then, the median is the next easiest one to find. I know we have 12 values, um, so the median is going to be right in the middle. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so the median is going to be right in the middle of 61 and 62, because um, that's where our data splits in half there. We have six values on either side. Since we have an even number of values, we have to take whatever number would be right in the middle of 61 and 62, which is 61 and a half or 61.5, so our median equals 61.5, okay, and now, so we have our minimum, median, maximum, now quartile 1 and quartile 3, so for quartile 1, what we're going to do is take this lower half of the data, and we're going to split this in half, and find the number in the middle of that, which happens to be 55, is right in the middle of that half, for quartile three, we're going to do the same thing, but this is the third quartile, so it's the upper half of the data we're going to take, and we're going to split um, that right in half. Oops, I need to go back here. I made a mistake. Quartile one is not 55. I missed part of our data there. So let's see, what do we have here? Um, quartile one... What I was supposed to do is take all of this here. I had six values, so quartile one should actually be in the middle of 55 and 58. I'm sorry, let's make that a little more clear there. That's 58. So it's the number right in the middle of these because we have six values there. So between 55 and 58, we would get 56.5 is right in the middle. And let's color code that to match our quartile one is 56.5. And I got that, oops, let's go back. For, um, I got that because um, 55 and 58, there's a gap of three in between those. So half of three is 1.5. So 55 plus 1.5 gives me the 56.5 here. So let's see, we can again look at how that works with quartile three. I'm going to take this upper half of the data. I'm going to break it in half. And so the middle value falls right 
um, in between with three below and three above here. So it's right in between 65 and 68. So same thing here, except between 65 and 68. So 66.5 is our quartile three. That's the value right in between 65 and 68, halfway in between. Because 65 and 68 are three apart, so half of three is 1.5, so we need um, to add 1.5 to 65 to get 66.5. So I've got my five values here. I know my answer to my question, my first quartile is 56.5, but um, we were also asked to create a box plot, so we're going to go do that on the next page, and I will show you how to do that. So we just need to take... Um, First, let's start with Q1. We're going to create our box. So, so the box of the box plot is made out of um, Q1, the Q1, the um, median, and Q3, and then the whiskers are the minimum and the maximum. Okay, so let's actually go to this page and we're going to make our box plot. I'm actually going to switch something right here because we need to change these so that we're starting so that our scale fits. So I'm just going to make our scale for our box plot here. All right. Now let's go get our numbers. So we have our, um, let's start with the box part of our box plot. Um, and we have our minimum value is 56.5. So I'm going to plot Here's 55, 50, each of these tick marks is one unit, so 56.5 is going to be right, oops, right here. And now let's go get our median, 61.5. That's going to be right here. Q3, our third quartile, is 66.5. So we'll plot that right here, 66.5. And this is our box made up of Q1, the median, and Q3. In order to make the box, we just connect. And that's the box part of our box plot now for the whiskers. The minimum and the maximum make the whiskers. So the minimum is 52. So let's find 52 here. That's one whisker. The maximum is 72. So let's plot 72 where it goes right here. And then we just connect these whiskers to the box. And that is our box plot where this is the minimum. This is the maximum. We have all five values that we need here.